Desert Hot Springs may be the first Valley City to allow cannabis use in concert venues and hotels. City leaders have approved an ordinance that would pave the way for an explosion in a new kind of tourism. Our Nico Payne spoke to the mayor on this decision and has more now from City Hall. Nico. That's right, Sarah. The city council voted unanimously to move forward on this ordinance and says it will put Desert Hot Springs on the map when it comes to Canada tourism. Desert Hot Springs is taking a huge step to integrate the marijuana industry into their city with an initial approval of an ordinance allowing marijuana use in entertainment facilities. A marijuana entertainment facility means any facility or location the primary function of which is an entertainment use, such as, such as a movie theater, bowling alley, concert venue, etc. Now, this doesn't mean that you can walk into any hotel or movie theater right now and start smoking marijuana. These entertainment facilities will have to be built specifically for this purpose and follow city guidelines. According to Marijuana Business Daily, cannabis sales are on pace to rise 40% over last year despite a global pandemic, and Desert Hot Springs wants a piece of that revenue. Desert Hot Springs has always been founded on the health and wellness, so... Why not move into the health and wellness of what cannabis can do for people utilizing our boutique spa? As for the dozens of dispensaries in the city who are worried about lost revenue. This shouldn't impact our dispensaries because it'll be an in-house thing. Our TOT has risen over $80,000 this year so far. Uh, we haven't gone negative, so we do have... Uh, Visitors still visiting Desert Hot Springs. Some local businesses are concerned about the impression it could have on young people. I don't see the point of them doing something like this because the city won't have control of what the youth will do. The dispensaries have proven over time to be some of the safest businesses in Desert Hot Springs. We've had little to no issues in and around our dispensaries and cultivation areas because of the security measures that the city council have taken. Mayor Mattis says entertainment is just the next step. You're kind of our guinea pigs when it comes to it because you're going to be the first ones to open these entertainment venues. And again, kudos to Desert Hot Springs. We're inventing the wheel and not reinventing it today. Now, what was passed last night was the first reading of this, these ordinances. Final consideration is set for January 19th. Reporting from Desert Hot Springs, Nico Payne, NBC Palm Springs.